Hey guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavadan, and in this video lecture session, I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this: a rectangular lamina 35 mm by 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edges. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. The edge on which the lamina rests is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections and find its inclination with inclination to HP. Now to draw this, uh, to solve this problem, so one can draw an XY line. And after drawing an XY line, uh, make use of a text command and uh, name the end points of the X line as uh, X and Y. Then uh, above XY line it should be marked as VP, below XY line it should be marked as HP to represent the first angle projection. And then uh, since it's a rectangular lamina 35 by 20 and it is resting on a shorter edges, henceforth uh, go to a rectangle command with the la lamina thickness as 0.5, set the width as 35, height as 20, angle as 0. Then 35 by 20 mm rectangle has been constructed for which you go to a smart dimension command, show that this is uh, 20 mm, show that this is 30 mm and then uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 uh, this uh, corners will be projected till the xy line and complete the front view with the help of uh, 0.5 mm thick complete the front view then uh, make use of uh, text command name the respective corners over here and this as a this as b and this as c and this is going to be d and accordingly here it will become b dash as well as a dash and then here it will become c dash and d dash and by this one can see that the first stage is completed in all aspects and after which this uh, rectangle is being converted to a square of 20 mm henceforth uh, this 35 mm has to be reduced to 20 millimeter uh, so for which the angle has to be identified so again go to the rectangle command and uh, set the uh, thickness as uh, 0.5 and here now height and width both are 20 and angle as 0 because it's a square that figure is known to us. Now it is going to be reproduced here. Then accordingly using the text command one can name this corner as A and this corner will become B. This will be C as well as D uh, where this is going to be remain same. Now the height remains the same that is 20 millimeter henceforth uh, one can join the projector from here to here and here to here that is going to show that the dimension is 20 and the rectangle 35 mm is being reduced to 20 mm so this is going to be the square of 20 mm for which b dash a dash will be on hp whereas c dash d dash will be above hp at what uh, height it is going to be made so or what at what height uh, height it is going to be made so during which what is the angle which is going to be made to measure this we have to identify now how to do that one go to 0.13 mm thick a dash b dash is on the xy line whereas cd is going to be the above xy line then go to uh, arc by center point command with 0.13 as a thickness we know that b dash a dash is on the xy line and cd is how much height it is at an angle of 30 it is at an height of 35 millimeter so enter the radius as 35 millimeter and draw an arc here so that at this inclination so that at uh, this inclination i am going to get a square lamina of 20 mm size when well, uh, a rectangle is rotated and its angle is going to be measured as 55 degree when the lamina is rotated about 55 degree one can get the square of 20 millimeter now again go to a text command and name these corners as uh, b dash as well as a dash and then this corner is going to be c dash as well as d dash and one can see that the second stage is also completed and what is the third stage the edge on which the lamina rests is inclined at 30 degree to vp now the resting edge is b dash a dash is inclined at 30 degree to vp and go to a line command with the thickness of 0.13 uh, one can construct a 30 degree line then make use of angle between command and uh, set this angle between xy line and this line is supposed to be 30 degree 
and after which one has to measure the distance of a b in both first and second stages both remains 20 20 henceforth it is a true length now the true length has to be projected on the true angle so henceforth without constructing an apparent angle one has to select both front and sorry one has to select the top view in such a way that the complete thing will be selected move with respect to either corner a or b it should be positioned on the 30 degree line then go for rotate make sure that a is already on x y line so get it as a fixed point and b is a rotating point rotate that b and make sure that the line a b measures 30 degree to vp now now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 start with the right extreme corner connect d dash to d and along with d we have c so let me complete uh, c as well as d and after completing c d the remaining is a b a b is projected till the x y line and after drawing these projectors properly after drawing these projectors properly and then one can go to a text command to avoid confusions name the respective corners and this corner will be named as a dash this corner will be named as b dash and this corners will be named as c dash and here it will be d dash and after which using the line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter one has to complete the projection in the front way that is joining a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash and back to a dash and this completes the projections of the given problem that is the solution has been completed in all aspects if anyone is having any sort of doubts you can call me at this contact number and please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and also do share this to all the first year engineering students thank you guys thanks for watching the video